Well, if you've ever had kids, you know that teething is just as much of a pain for you as it is for your children. My case is live today at Small Smiles of Youngstown, where they're experienced in all types of issues. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, that's right. From uh, 20 months to 20 years, they look at all sorts of teeth here. This is Dr. Mike. How are you doing, Dr. Mike? Good. How are you today? I am good. And Selena. Hi, Selena. Hi. Good to see you. It's good to see you. All right. Now we're talking. Uh, you hang on here for one second, okay, because we're going to talk about baby teeth first. And, and you just got rid of your last baby tooth, right? Yep. Okay, very good. So problems uh, that we see with baby teeth. I mean, they start coming in when, about a year? About a year. Um, they can still get cavities even at an early, at an early age. Um, uh, depends on a lot of uh, other factors like putting the kids to bed with a bottle or even with juice. That it increases their risk significantly for cavities. So what do we do? Just uh, omit those things? Does the pacifier matter at all? Uh, it does, but, but not so much for cavities as it does for the shape of the teeth. Uh, you want to limit the, the pacifier as much as possible because it can change the the shape of the mouth is it because the baby tooth is so thin and like flimsy yes uh, the the baby teeth have uh, much thinner enamel mm -hmm. than adult teeth so they get cavities very easily and when they do get there they start and they grow very rapidly all right let's and then uh, the big teeth come in open up uh, selena let's see so tell people some of the things you see maybe in uh, in selena's mouth but also in other kids my mouth that uh, that cause some problems uh, with selena has uh, pretty good teeth but uh, one thing we look for is any fillings that they already do have uh -huh. to make sure that they're still healthy and, and in good shape. I see one in the back there. Yes, she has one back on the molar there. The other thing is we look for any cavities that might be showing up uh, either in the mouth here or even on an x-ray. And then we look at the shape of the mouth. We look at the shape of the teeth, the form of the arch uh, to make sure everything is in good shape and in structurally good. I got, I have some uh, fillings in the back of my molars too from when I was a kid. Is that a problem spot, the ones in the back? Not so much a problem, but you want to make sure you have those checked regularly to make sure that they're still in good shape because if they start to fail, they start to break down, then we want to replace those. If people have questions, you have a free screening today, right? Yes, we have free screenings from 10 to 1130, and they can either just come on in at that time, or they can call uh, the office here, uh, 792-9600. Very good. Uh, do you remember going to lunch in grade school and high school? Yes, I did. Did you have a favorite lunch? Uh, I would have to say pizza. Pizza. How about you, Selena? Pizza. Also All pizza? Right. Very good. And you go to school where? Gerard. Gerard. Okay. Well, what we've been doing is putting in uh, our lunch ladies have been sending in pictures, and we're kind of spotlighting them. So we have one for you today. These are the lunch ladies at P. Rossberry Middle School in Youngstown. This was sent in by Sharon, one of the teachers there. From left to right, you got Debbie, Janet, Lauren, Helen, Gilbert, Mary, and Linda. That's right, our first lunch guy of this segment, Gilbert. On the menu today, breaded chicken, seasoned rice, green beans, pineapple or peaches, and wheat bread. If you'd like your lunch ladies featured on the show please send us a picture of them with some background info and of course the menu for the days of head send it to wfmj today at wfmj.com i will get in touch with you and they'll be on tv all right when we come back dentistry 101 right that's right we're going to give some tips here small smiles of youngstown located on the uh, mahoning plaza on Meridian and mahoning here in austin town we'll be back in just a bit back to you guys